I absolutely support the long-term funding at the federal level and the state level for transportation. Matter of fact, I still bear the scars from the transportation referendums in my first year of the governorship, which I was proud to have the chamber support, but where we lost in both Northern Virginia and Hampton Roads. If we would have actually passed that, uh, we'd have a lot more roads, a lot more mass transit, and probably that third crossing already in place by now down in Hampton Roads. At the federal level, we've got a crisis. The Highway Trust Fund is running out of money because uh, fuel efficiency has gone up, but we've not met the funding gap. We kicked the can for a few months, but we need to come back, I think, with a specific long-term funding sources uh, that include all vehicles, not just uh, gas fuel vehicles, but also natural gas and electric and other vehicles. We've got to think about this in a more comprehensive way. One tool that we should put in the toolkit, though, is uh, some legislation that I've got in place where I've got five Republicans and five Democrats working together on something called the Bridge Act. What the Bridge Act does is says, let's not be the last nation in the world to have a national infrastructure financing authority. This would allow us to leverage private capital, long-term and investment quality projects uh, with the expertise to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Wall Street on things like the port, on mass transit, on roads, on water projects. Uh, it is a common sense idea, again, that's been endorsed by business groups all across the country. Uh, doesn't solve any problem every problem, but combined with a permanent funding source, having the ability to leverage private capital has got to be a tool that's put in the toolkit.